so happy that you can join them today, halfway across the world, to share in this special moment. They're grateful to all their friends and family. They would like to recognize all of you guys who could make it today. Thank you. And also the people who couldn't. They certainly missed, but not forgotten. The first time I actually met Drew was um, at a party. Um, John came with her, and I had heard about her before, and he was extremely excited 
and all we could do was smile ear to ear, talking about her. Um, it was a guardsman party. Um, we, I think, piggybacked her on the way over. <laughs> and we, <laughs> a lot, maybe a lot of drinks were had. Um, John gets emotional when he speaks <laughs> and was giving us a heart to heart. And I pretty much knew that was the day that they were going to be spending the rest of their lives together. Um, you could obviously tell that Drew was very important to him. Um, one of the first times they started dating, all he could tell me about, he called on the phone and told me that he bought her a gift basket because she was going on a little trip and when she came back, her fridge was not stocked and had no food or drink, so he put together a little care package of cheese and sausage and was so excited to give me details about it. And <laughs> Drew made John work for it. She apparently tried to get out of it from what I'm told <laughs> and was looking for excuses from Ashley on what, what to tell John. Marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. Some say true love is your soul's recognition of its counterpoint in another. Thank you, Wedding Crashers. Yes. Yes. For those of you who don't know, John and I like to quote movies a lot. Marriage is a celebration of this true love and symbolizes the ultimate commitment between a man and a woman and a good marriage must be built on that foundation of commitment. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day, whether that's verbally or written down, like on all those post-it notes that you guys leave for each other <laughs> all throughout your house. Wow. It's never going to sleep angry. It's standing together and facing the world. It's speaking the words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget even when John can't quite figure out the recycling system that you have <laughs> meticulously detailed over both separate garbage cans. The road that has brought Drew and John here today hasn't been easy. It never is. It's been filled with challenges that they weren't necessarily prepared for. But together they've taken each other and used those experiences to strengthen, not weaken, their love for each other. Drew, John, the vows that you're about to make here today are a way to express your love and commitment to each other. Sometimes poems, verses, and quotes are too ordinary and often get lost on how extraordinary your true love really is. You only get one shot at this, so anything worth doing is doing it right. John and Drew have prepared their own special words to say to one another. Now, I know John was worried about being nervous today and messing up his vows, but I, re I reminded him that anything that he says to you today that's authentic and from the heart will be imperfectly perfect. But you'll have to go on for one more minute because we have to do this right, so we go ladies first. Okay. And she has a long one. Sweat. <laughs> Standing with you here in Bali is truly an affirmation that together we can achieve beautiful things. That's what I love about you most, your ability to make my dreams come true. We knew each other long before we started dating, and there's a memory that always makes me laugh. I remember being a kid at a baseball field, basically playing in the dirt, and while your mom and my mom sat and watched their game, my mom's yelling, let's go, one three, one three. Sandy looks at my mom and says, Josie, what's one three? And she says, that's John number, number 13. So it's obvious that we are meant to be together and that our families have brought us here today. And I continue to be amazed at your strength, your devotion, your kindness and your thoughtfulness. I thank you for choosing me and for always going above and beyond to make me feel special. You make me laugh when you dance in the kitchen and I love the smell of your smoky hair when you're done barbecuing and I can't wait to spend a lifetime together with you. I will always be at your side and devoted to you. I promise to be patient and to listen. I will love you unconditionally. I look forward to being your wife and exploring new things every day. I value the man that you are and will cherish our relationship as it continues to grow. I love you so much. 
and more and more with every passing day. Drew, first, I want to say that I love you with all my heart. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You've changed my life. Today is a special day here in Bali. Come on. With our closest friends and our families. I thank you for all of this and for all that you are to me. You're a blessing from God in my life. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> yeah, you're in Bali. Oh man. Alright, I promise to always love you and be your best friend. Always true and loyal for the rest of our lives. Finally, I will always be ready to hold you when you slowly move in and take over the bed for your <laughs> nightly, all night really, cuddle takeover. I will always love you forever. Yeah, Alright, John, please take you, Sam. Where are you after me? I, John, take you, Drew, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, John, take you, Drew, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise to love and protect you. I promise to love and protect you. Encourage and inspire you. Encourage and inspire you. To comfort you in sad times and rejoice with you in happy moments. To comfort you in sad times and rejoice with you in happy moments. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. And honor you from this day forward. And honor you from this day forward. Take this ring as a symbol of my love. Take this ring as a symbol of my love. Oh, you're doing good, baby. Yeah. That was a close one. I, Drew, take you, John, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I, Drew, take you, John, to be my law lawfully <laughs> committed husband. I promise to love and protect you. I promise to love and protect you. Encourage and inspire you. Encourage and inspire you. To comfort you in sad times and rejoice with you in happy moments. <laughs> to comfort you in sad times and rejoice with you in happy moments. <laughs> I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. And honor you. And honor you. From this day forward. From this day forward. Take this ring as a symbol of my love. Take this ring as a symbol of my love. Drew and John, you've professed your love by changing your vows. <laughs> <laughs> Symbolizing your commitment by exchanging rings and express the end of your individual lives by starting a new one together. By the power vested in me, thanks to the highly esteemed Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I know you've been waiting anxiously, so John, go ahead and kiss the Bali warrior princess and wife. <laughs> My great honor and privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. John Palmini. Yeah. Let's go party and make some decisions. <laughs>
Thank you.